Hello, Cancer, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Cancer, thank you so much for joining me. I'm super excited to do your May 2024 love reading. So let's see you. What does the month of May need to reveal for us? Is there new love coming? Is there an ex returning? Let's find out. Let's get straight into it, Cancer. So for those who are new, my name is Gigi and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because every week you get two readings and a bonus weekend reading. If you also would like to subscribe to our newsletter, just visit fifigigitarot.com. Excellent. Okay, Cancer, let's begin. My beautiful, wonderful and amazing Cancer. Cancerians. Okay. Represented by the chariot. My favorite, one of my favorite major arcanas. Okay. Excellent. Behind the deck, we do have Aries energy, the emperor. The emperor, the big energy here is all about leadership, taking action, deciding, really stepping up. This is like really boss energy. Perhaps it's time now, Kanza, to step up, to really put your fears aside and be courageous and take action. Just keep that in mind. Let's have a look. The Hanging Man. Mm, nice. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. Let's have a look at the Hanging Man. We know the Hanging Man. Cancer. There can be a situation sometimes where we're not moving forward, we're not moving backwards. So it's time now more than ever to reassess our situation. More than ever, it's time to adapt. It's time to let go of something that's no longer serving you. Perhaps you're holding on to old emotions, old beliefs, friends, an ex perhaps. Whatever it is, ask yourself, are you moving forward? Because it can feel like life is a little bit suspended, upside down. So we do need to adapt, sometimes sacrifice. Notice that the owl, the light behind, that's like shining bright, you will get that epiphany, that idea where you will know exactly what you have to do. So don't worry, this is just temporary. You will find your way to let go, whatever it is that you need to do to start moving forward. Okay, and we also have the Seven of Pentacles. This is the investment card. Beautiful card. As you can see, what the owl is doing is looking up on the tree where money is growing on the tree. So you're just kind of like, if you think about it with the illustration, you're looking up. There will be a situation, Cancer, where... Perhaps uh, a love a, a love interest, someone that may come into your life and you're like, I don't know, would I really consider that person? This card is telling you, wait a second, don't say no just yet. Consider, because long term, it will definitely be worthwhile. And the seven of pentacles can also mean investing in yourself, not just with someone else, invest in yourself. Be good to yourself. Eat well. Take care of yourself. Make your health and your mental mind a priority. In the long run, it will pay off. Now, you also have the Six of Cups. Someone from your past is going to reconnect with you. Someone that you haven't heard from in a very long time. And on its own, yeah, this is a great card. This could be someone from school, from work, primary school. Someone that wants to return, come back into your life. I consider this, with the Six of Cups, an old friend, someone you used to have a lot of fun with too. So there is some sort of connection here already, Cancer. If we look, let's have, I'm just going to put this straight a bit. Let's have a look at the other cards. Nice. The Wheel of Fortune. Four of Cups. And the Sun. Amazing. The Wheel of Fortune is literally luck on your side, Cancer. Do you consider yourself someone lucky? You should, because you are a very lucky person. Think of this as your divine spirit team, rearranging everything, putting everything together just for you. You also have the Four of Cups. 
Four of Cups is showing an opportunity is coming your way. Because I feel like sometimes, Cancer, you may be stuck in the past, thinking about the good old days, the fun times, where right now things are not so great. An opportunity is coming your way. Notice it's just above the Seven of Pentacles. You need to look up. You need to look around because something is happening here. Now, the sun, you have this, my favorite major arcana card. We're talking about bliss, happiness, joy. Your spirit team is urging you to get outside more. Get outside into the sun. See friends, loved ones, socialize. Get yourself out there. Get out of your comfort zone. Step out into the unknown. Explore new things. Meet new people. Let's have a look. What else do we have? Four of Pentacles. We have the Devil and Judgment. Interesting. Now, the Four of Pentacles. Now, just I just want to go back here. Remember here when I said, oh, yep, there could be someone, an old friend returning, an old friend that you haven't heard from in a very long time. Well, the Four of Pentacles, you're keeping a little bit closed off. You're not revealing your next move. You don't want to tell anybody your next intentions, which is fair enough. There could be some trust issues, you know, because of past experiences where your trust was compromised by an ex, perhaps. But you're just a little bit guarded, a little bit closed off, which is fine. The Four of Pentacles is also telling you, Cancer, get your affairs into order, especially your finances. Take care of your money. Start to plan. Start to forecast. In other words, start to get really responsible when it comes to your money. Now, I do feel there will be quite a tempting offer coming your way with the devil. Someone that's really thinking about you. So I do see, yep, there's a Capricorn energy, a very big tempting, tempting offer here. And you also have judgment. As much as tempting this offer is, you have the judgment card. So it's the card of resurrection. Someone from your past returning. However, though you, Cancer, you're in a position of power. You are judging this person. You're like the judge, the juror, and the executioner. The judgment card is also giving you an epiphany. You're seeing things a lot more clearly. And because judgment has made an appearance, it's going to speed up the pace. So this is going to happen a lot sooner than what you think. So at the same time, I can see already, Cancer, that you're very curious this person coming back into your life, you're like, hmm, okay, that's a very tempting offer. Can I trust you? You will be making the judgment call on this person. That's that's what's happening here. But on its own, these cards are great on its own. But let's clarify. Let's see. What is this person's intention? Let's use the spellcasters tarot and let's find out. So again, you definitely know this person. We have two cards here already representing that this is someone from your past, Cancer, with the Six of Cups and Judgment. You're a little bit closed off. You don't really fully, fully trust this person, but let's let's find out. Let's have a look. Let's shuffle these cards. What is this person's intentions? What do they want from you, Cancer? All right, let's shuffle these cards. One more, please. Behind this deck, you have the Fool, the card of innocence. Take that leap of faith. Step out into the unknown. Be curious, be adventurous, take that chance, see for yourself. Kind of like think about the emperor that you got at the beginning of this reading where it's telling you, hey, take action, step up. Take in that boss energy and see where this goes. The hanging man. So what is it that we need to adapt to? Okay, look Okay, look at this. So the emperor has come out. This came come out, where is it? As you can see at the bottom of the deck, the emperor, emperor. It's telling you we need to step up now, Cancer. You want to move on with your life? You want to see change? You want to see progress? I need you to act like the emperor. Like I said, this is really big boss energy. 
Start to get rid of the losers in your life. Start to make the necessary changes. Make room for the good people, the good things to come into your life. Ask yourself, what are you holding on to that's not letting you move forward? There's, there's definitely something here. Because remember, the emperor, he's not afraid to make difficult decisions. He's not afraid to say no to people for change. So we need to make the necessary changes to start moving forward. To be like the emperor, we have to act like the emperor. Be structured, be disciplined, and lead. The seven of pentacles. Wow, look at this. You have the empress. The empress is the divine partner of the emperor. You've got, and I want to go back to the emperor. All the kings wrapped up together as one. Now you have the empress, all the queens wrapped up together in one. So now you need, you're required to be the ultimate queen. You can have it all. The empress shows abundance. It shows fertility. So this situation here with the seven of pentacles, whatever area that you need to invest in, it's going to give you lots of abundance. Whether it's investing time in yourself, getting your priorities in order, or if this, depending on this situation, it's probably telling you, hey, give this person a chance. You might be surprised where this might lead to. If it's not this person, it's just telling you to invest in yourself. Take the time to really upgrade yourself, to step up. Be the ultimate queen, the ultimate ruler, leader. It's really boss, getting lots of boss energy here. The six of cups. Okay, here we go. We have the page of wands. Out of all the pages, this is my favorite page. This is like the ultimate page of getting excited. It's like, as you can see here by the illustrations, a little birdie whispered in my ear. So there's really good news coming your way. It's like once in a lifetime opportunity uh, news coming your way from an old friend, someone that you haven't heard from in a very, very long time. In fact, you might even just get a little bit excited and thinking, oh, okay, I haven't heard from this person in a while. What do they have to say? Do check your social media. Just make sure um, all your social media, you know, when you get messages, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is, make sure you check it. The world followed by the eight of pentacles. Excellent. Sorry, the wheel of fortune. Luck is on your side. Really good luck, not just any luck. I'm talking about any luck in all areas of your life, Cancer. So like travel, money, love, progress, prosperity, abundance. The Eight of Pentacles shows that you have skill, Cancer. You can build anything. You can do anything. I need you to believe that in yourself. You can literally do anything. You have the skills, the talent, everything to do anything. Keep doing what you are doing. Believe in yourself. Notice it's just above the emperor, boss energy. Step up. Start to build. The, use the building blocks to build your life how you want to. Whether it's, for example, you want to change jobs, you want to live somewhere else, you want to travel to another country, you want to work to it, whatever it is, yes, you can do it. The Four of Cups. Here we go. The King of Swords. Yeah. So I do feel, Cancer, for some of you watching this, you most likely you're probably single, divorced, separated. Because whenever the king or the queen makes an appearance, it's showing that, okay, so you've had your setbacks in the past. You've had your blows, but you still soldier on. You still keep moving forward. However, though, you may, you may sometimes get a little bit sad and think about the past, especially with the Four of Cups. The sword is pointing up. Communication is going to be super important. So in this situation, especially when this person returns, that's going to come make an appearance, make sure you communicate, speak with confidence, be that leader. And again, with the Four of Cups, look around. There's always opportunities, messages from your spirit team sending you something. And this opportunity can come from a message from this person here with the Page of Wands. The Sun, we also have the Eight of Swords. The fact that it's come next to the Sun, do not worry, the sun lessens the blow of any challenging cards. But with the Eight of Swords, 
I must say, Cancer, I need you to get out of your head a bit. This is Gemini energy. Get out of your head. Don't listen to the negative thoughts. Do not listen to damaging beliefs. Don't listen to that. Like if you're identifying with yourself and saying, I'm not good enough. I'm not this. I'm not. No. No, 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 no. Because this card is keeping you imprisoned. Just like the hanging man, you're not moving forward. Get rid of those beliefs. You don't need them. They are not serving you. And trust me, when it comes to negative beliefs, they are great. Absolutely wonderful at creating fear. You don't need that at all. Try to push those fears away. Think about the things that you want, not about the things that you don't want. Focus on the things that you want. The four of pentacles. Okay, so we do have the tower, something life-changing here. You're keeping closed off, but at the same time, with the tower, something life-changing is coming. You also have the Three of Cups. You have the most social card that's come up. So, Cancer, apart from the Page of Wands messages that I mentioned, make sure you check your messages that come through social media. If you do receive invitations also, doesn't matter how big or how small, I need you to go. I need you to put on your best outfit and go. Doesn't matter if you're already watching your favorite Netflix show or something on Hulu. No, 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 no. You have to go because something can happen that's completely life changing. So, again, I'm seeing more face to face events. Please say yes. It's important because the tower, it's either your shock or your surprise. It can go either way. Because you do have this card here. It's going to be quite a surprise. You may even surprise yourself like, oh, wow, I'm so happy I went out tonight. I'm so happy I said yes. Say yes. Remember like the sun said, you need to go out there more. Go. The devil. Let's have a look at the devil. Okay. We also have the hierophant. The hierophant is the card of commitment, attempting of an offer that involves commitment here. This is really good. So. I have a feeling this person that's coming in into the picture, they will have traditional values, all traditional values. In other words, they may be, for example, religious. They may believe in God. They may have just have really strong traditional values. For example, um, they're probably not the type to, hey, I met you three dates, let's get married. No, they're more the type to do things step by step. You may even meet this person at a church. So again, with the three of cups, if you do get invitations to go to mass, a christening, a wedding, say yes. Because again, the hierophant, like I said, it's all it's an old traditional way, perhaps even meeting face to face, not meeting so much online, meeting more face to face. Overall though, it's an excellent card. And it will be a very tempting offer. So why is the devil there? You may, for example, cancer, overanalyze it, overthink about it. And again, I want to go back to the four of pentacles when we're very closed off. We're not revealing our next intention because we don't trust the person. So sometimes if the devil makes an appearance, it's our shadow self where we're questioning people's intentions, we're overanalyzing it. And we're thinking, okay, what do you want? You know, we're already thinking that someone's coming into the picture because they have bad intentions. No, 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 no. I can already tell you that this person has good intentions. Well, let's find out the outcome. We have judgment. You are judging this person. What are you more leaning towards? Look at this. You end with the 10 of cups. So cancer, this is going to bring emotional fulfillment, happiness. You know that happiness that you crave? That feeling just to have fun, to let loose, to be happy. This is what's happening right here. So what I would recommend, this person that's coming into the picture, because you do have the seven of pentacles, this could be this could probably be someone that you would think, I don't know if I would go out with this person, they're not really my type. Wait a second. Don't say no just yet. Consider it. Long term, it can be amazing just really amazing. You actually know this person. And again, this could be through family, friends, through cousins. And it's showing already that this person is going to bring 
sunshine into your life, abundance and happiness. Say yes to all social events, any invitations that come your way. They could come through your Facebook Messenger. Just make sure you say yes. It's going to be life-changing. You're going to have a tempting offer, but this tempting offer is bringing a lot of commitment. It's like what you see is what you get. And ultimately, with the judgment card, you're going to be judging this person, but it's going to also bring you emotional abundance where you can just be yourself, Cancer. You don't have to walk on eggshells or pretend to be someone. No, you can be yourself here because there are no challenging cards. The only challenging card here is the Eight of Swords. You can be a little bit in your head. Let's remove that. Think of the best possible outcome. Outcome. Think about what do you want, what not, not what you don't want. No. So try to see in your in your mind's eye, what would you love? What would be the best outcome for you? Get that in your mind. But overall, fantastic reading. All you have to do, Cancer, go with the flow, say yes, and let the magic happen. Beautiful reading. Thank you so much, Cancer, for joining me. Hope you have a fantastic day. Power to you. And I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.